I've kind of been around the American culture in general from like a really young age. So um, that kind of never bothered me in the way it bothers some other like British people or that come to the US who they can't get used to the food. And you know, they, they think it's weird that it's driving on the wrong side of the road. Fortunately, because I kind of had that experience, I, you know, that just became normal to me, almost normal, more normal than actually being in the UK. Um, but I came to the US for the first time for like a long period to really focus on the music in 2012. I started the process to get my green card. So um, that had really been a plan ever since we first uh, went to Nashville in that, on that 2012 trip. I mean, really, ever since I was a kid, I always knew that I wanted to be in the US. But it was kind of a case of how on earth do we go about, go about doing this? What's even the first step? So we kind of been looking in ever since um, I finished high school um, and really just kind of found out that, wow, it's a super difficult process. We probably need to contact a lawyer because we can't really do this ourselves. Um, so then in 2015, we actually got in touch with an immigration lawyer and explained everything that had been happening with the music, the festivals, um, some of the awards that I'd won and said, look, is it even possible for us to apply for the green card? So I sent everything off that the lawyer requested. Um, I had to show proof of every single show that I'd done, every CD that I'd sold, basically every piece of information I could possibly find um, about the successes and achievements that I'd had in the music and everything was on track. And then of course, got closer and closer and closer to the summer and nothing had happened. And I was starting to think, oh my God, where is my, where's my email? Where's my stuff? Where's the green card? What's happening? The Congressman of South Carolina ended up getting involved and uh, it transpired that the USCIS had sent my file to the wrong office basically meaning that the entire process was delayed until like further notice. Uh, I obviously had to cancel my tour. I had to contact all of the festivals, all of the venues. I was gonna do some stuff with the military over in the US and we had to cancel that. I eventually found out that all my stuff had been passed on and uh, everything was approved, hallelujah. And they basically said, here's your passport, you're good to go. Now all you need to do is book your book your flights. It was a very weird situation of finally knowing, oh my goodness, that's it, we're done. Um, so all in all, it took a whole year. And uh, it was just so weird, like when it actually, I mean, even thinking about it now, when I actually think that day, like in London, walking out of the embassy, just holding all my stuff, thinking, wow, we're actually done. And, you know, the next kind of chapter can actually, actually begin.